Another quiet day at WA's COVID testing clinics, despite a new daily record for case numbers. I'd like to see testing numbers go up, obviously. I'm all right, I'm not testing until I don't feel right. The difficulty is that we've cut ourselves off now. There's been a big announcement about opening up internationally and that's been put off at short notice. I think really it's probably fair to say the West Australian public are quite confused about all this. Public policy expert Shamit Sagar believes the state government's decision to cancel the border reopening has increased complacency. Probably the best solution to this ultimately in terms of compliance and messaging will be to set a proper date, maybe in instalments and phases, for opening up the state. COVID is now in three WA aged care homes, including two in Mandra. Advocates are concerned some providers have prematurely closed off to visitors. It's concerned because it's really important for older people to have access to social connection. Um, you know, loneliness and social isolation is you know, almost as bad as smoking. It's as damaging for our older population or any, anybody. Advocare says plans are in place to bring in volunteers to help the already short-staffed sector partners in care, that could be people visiting the facility, for them to play more of an active role in supporting those residents. And in case of um, significant outbreaks or in regions, um, Defence are on standby through Aspen um, to provide support um, and clinical support particularly. And the virus continues its spread through schools. Churchland Senior High School, the latest to confirm a positive case. It's also made its way to regional WA with a confirmed case at this school near Collie. While COVID-19 cases continue to rise, the increase has been slower than the government expected, with no cases currently in hospital. So the government has decided to push back its halt on bookings for non-urgent elective surgery until mid-March. Rhiannon Shine, ABC News.